Hello viewers, welcome to Agile Math class. Today, I'm going to take you through the rules of sorts. And in our next video, I'm going to give you examples regarding sort. So my rule number one is that you should know that when you have root A multiplied by root B, okay, this is the same thing as saying root A times B. They can share the same root. Example, I'm going to use 3 and 4, and 9 and 4. Take for instance that um, my A, throughout this example, let's assume our A is 9 and my B is 4. So here, if you have root 9 times root 4, let's confirm if the, it is the same as say root 9 times 4. Root 9 is the same thing as 3. Root 4 is the same thing as what? 2 which is equals to 9 times 4 is 36. 3 times 2 is 6. Y square root of 36 is also 6. You can see that rule number 1 is correct. Now let's go straight to rule number 2. Okay? And um, yeah, rule number 2 is when you have root A divided by root B. Okay? You can combine them together as saying root A over B. And how are we going to be sure of that? Let's use the same example we use here. This is like saying you have root 9 divided by root 3. Is it the same thing as saying root 9 over, sorry, 4? Is it the same thing as saying root 9 over 4? Let's go. Root 9 is the same thing as saying 3 divided by 2, right? Because root 4 is 2. So which is the same thing as root 9 is 3. Root 4 is 2. We can see that this is the same. So rule number 2 works. Rule number 3. It says that when you have root A plus root B is not equal to root A plus B. Yes. Anytime you see this, just know that it is not equal. And how do we confirm this? Is when you have root 9 plus root 4 we want to see if it's the same thing as saying root 9 plus 4. Don't forget that my square root of 9 is the same thing as 3. Square root of 4 is the same thing as 2. Let's see if it will be equal to root 13. Okay? Because 9 plus 4 is 13. 3 plus 2 gives me what? 5. And this also gives me what? This gives me root 13. So root 13 should be... is even less than 4 because... Um, square root of 16 is 4. So this is going to be 3 point something. Okay? So that means this is not equal. 5 is not equal to this. And rule number 4 is that rule root A minus root B can never be equal to root A minus B. Okay? So let's just confirm that too. So it's just like you having root 9 minus root 4. It can never be equal to root 9 minus 4. Because root 9 is the same thing as 3 minus 2. It can never be equal to 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 minus 2 is what? 1. Can it ever be equal to this? This is going to give us 2 point something. So they are not equal. So you should know that also. And um, with this, I'm going to go straight to rule number five and um, my rule number five says that when you have square roots of a all squared you know when you square a number it means you are repeating the number twice it's the same thing as saying root a times root a right so anytime you see either of this or this root of a value multiplying the root of the same value just remove the root your answer will be a you might be surprised because all these rules are going to be very useful when we move inward into sort. So this is like saying, let me give an example root 9, all this squared. And I'm saying it's the same thing as what? Root 9 times root 9 equals to, I'm saying my answer will be 9. Let's confirm. These two sides, root 9 is what? 3 squared, right? Root 9 here is 3 times 3. You can see that this is the same thing as this. Okay? And what we have? 9. You can see. So anytime you have root 
20 times root 20, your answer is 20. So that's like a shortcut. So instead of multiplying it out. Now, here we also have um, rule number 6. Although rule number 6 is just in form of um, conjugate, okay? Rationalization of sorts. So when you have 1 over root, and one of the purpose of learning sort is that we don't want to have um, we don't want to have roots, sort form as the denominator. So next thing you have to do is to what? You must multiply both these numerator and denominator by the denominator. It might sound funny, but that is it. This is our denominator, so you multiply both numerator and denominator by this denominator. And one times root a will surely give you root a. Root a times root a from rule 5 is going to be a. So 1 over root a is the same thing as this. So these are the rules of my sword. So for you to be able to follow me with this, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also my Facebook page. My Facebook